Is up, we'll receive a pair of tickets for the next Most Haunted Live UK event as well. So for your chance to win, simply answer this question. What does EVP stand for? Is it one, electronic voice phenomenon, two, eccentric vocal people, or three, erratic verbal psychics? If you know the answer, call me now. Here's the number 09012 933 666. That's 09012 933 666. Calls cost £1 from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles considerably more. Only over 18s, please can enter and remember to seek the bill payers' permission before calling. The competition closes at 10 a.m. on Monday, the 5th of April. Entries made after closing time will not be counted but may still be charged. And the competition is not open to viewers in the Republic of Ireland. For more information, please visit our website, mosthauntedlive.net. Thank you, Julian. Let's talk now to another valued team member, the wonderful Leslie Smith, academic and historian. I know you love getting back to the basics about what we know about our locations. How far back do records go on the history of this place, Leslie? I've been able to reach around and find some archaeological evidence that there's been some work done here. And it seems that on this ledge, uh, man's been here, you know, back way, way back. In fact, prehistory, really. There's evidence of settlements going right back, you know, into even the time of Christ, really. So that's fascinating in itself. And then we've got the, the building work starting here, particularly for Ottokar, the great king, um, and that's in the 1200s. So we have got a property here then, wood, then stone, and then we get this property coming. And then, in fact, the outside of this, and much of this you're seeing is like a French chateau from the 16th century. So not much evidence of the original one, but this business about the floor and this big deep hole is really interesting. And lots of stories locally about monsters, dragons even. Is, is there a dragon there, down here? Um, well, it's really fascinating the way the area is saturated with ideas. The monsters seem to be associated directly with the castle. Faceless creatures, deformed creatures moving around, human beings, half that, half toad, this sort of story. Um, but the dragon thing I've got a particular theory about and, and, and it, it is quite interesting thought really. I'm sure our ancestors digging around on properties like this must at times have come upon um, bones of dinosaurs. Can you imagine what they must have thought of them? They're clearly the real thing. They're clearly, they would have seen animal bones as well. This must be a creature from hell. And I spoke to one of the historians associated with last night's property, and he loved the idea and said, well, of course, if they'd find a great skull, why not? You know, or even wings, up from a pterodactyl. Absolutely. And that might explain what, where dragons are so saturated. And, of course, if you find them, no wonder they will think it. And how about this whole story about this being a gateway to hell, the devil's doorway? Is that something that's kind of common? Is it, do many other places have that kind of link saying... Because we went to Turin and we yes. called it Satan City. It was known as Satan City. Yes. But there wasn't a direct conduit down into the underworld. No, there. there was some suggestion of tunnels and that sort of thing, but not quite in the same way as this one. This does seem to be enduring, and that's what makes it so exciting. And it does make me wonder if that if the SS testing stuff was going on here, if what it's actually really about. One theory the archaeologists are coming up with is the possibility that there may be even radioactive water in the area and some work with all this type of thing going on. But whichever way you look at it, people for centuries have believed that there are dark forces at work here. They do believe the devil can be reached from here. Thank you for the moment, Leslie Smith. OK, a lot still to get through tonight. We're with you live until midnight UK time. We're one hour advance here in Czech Republic, which means the witching hour will hit us an hour before it gets to you. Keep watching Most Haunted Live. More from Yvette and the team on the vigil after this. Welcome back to Most Haunted Live. It's been an amazing night so far, and it's our final night of investigations here in Czech Republic. We're about an hour and a half away from Prague, the capital, of course, and we've had some immense and intense activity already. Let's get straight back to Yvette Fielding and the vigil team to find out more. Yvette. Thanks very much. And, well, we've actually joined Kath now. So, Kath, you were alone in this room. It's a particularly big room. We're calling it the piano room because, of course, there is a piano in here. Did you have anything happen to you? Did you see anything, feel anything? Well, I did have something strange happen. I, had, I asked a very stupid, well, not stupid, different answer. I said, maybe because I'm whispering, but I said, is there anybody here? Can you whisper? And then I thought, that was a stupid question to ask. But then I heard whispering in the, in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which was weird. And then I stood in front of the, the web camera and on the web camera, um, the viewers at home won't see it, but there's a big red light. And I asked the technical guys, and it's almost like you would blink like that, as though something went past oh, really quick, I see. as though I had blinked. So I stood and stared at it, and they said it wouldn't ever go off. And it was like something passed it quick, black. Just like that? It was weird. Were you scared? I was. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all together now. OK, everybody, we're going to head in this direction. 
um, and we're going to go up to a particular place um, that we've only just found out about. Um, it's another part of the attic and with us we've got, where's John Boyle? Where are you? I can't see you. John Boyle is at Health and Safety. Now this particular place that we're going to go to now, you've just found it really yes. um, and it's part of the attic is, is it okay for us to go up there uh, some of the areas are a bit dodgy okay. um, hence the reason why I've asked to join you okay. just for this little bit all right then brilliant but as you're part of the investigation team for that if you do feel anything or anything just let us know okay this way guy as we go absolutely yeah because I think that, that we've got a little bit of a walk till we get there yeah okay. you think yeah especially if Kath heard yeah all right, well, let's be quiet then and see if we get anything. Good call. Right, stand still. If there is anybody here, if there are any spirit people here in this place, this room, please talk to us now. Closer to us. Can you hear that? It's very faint, but it's there. Could you please whisper your name? Keep still. What was that? That was behind you. That was in there. That's the thing that was on the floor this morning. Can you please whisper your name? Let's go in here. Just keep walking through the way I'm going first here. If there's anybody here, Show us that you're here. Come on. Show us that you're here. You slam one of these doors. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If it can move any of that, it's... Yeah. Okay. Stand still. Everybody settle. Settle. Hello? Okay. Help me. Okay, if you were going to put that as Morse code, what would that be? What, just... What you just heard? Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot is I. What about dash, dash, because it's in my boots. Dash dash would be M. I'm. Okay. <sighs> okay, speak to us again. Pe speak to us some more. Can you tell me your name? There were two very short ones there. I don't know if that means anything. Can you tell me your name? Can you move an object in this? What was that? I got dot dot dash dot dot. What does that mean? Dot dot dash dot dot. It's an E, perhaps, or dot, dot, dash, dash on its own. It's a U. So I'm E, oh, God. I mean, the problem is we're thinking it, it it's might Morse not code. be more, more Absolutely. responding to yeah. questions. So but, it's, but it's not, though, because I'm not asking any. OK. Can you knock out how many of you are here? Do you mean as harm? 